Welcome to Tweet of the Week. I am really excited to be joined today by Kay Mills, who is the media specialist at Middletown High School. I think many of you see on our system webpage that we recognize and celebrate very special months, and recently we were celebrating Native American History Month. Well, in our schools, our staff do incredible things to recognize these groups as well. And Kay, you came up with a great idea for a way to pique interest in some of the literature written by Native American authors. So you wanna tell us a little bit about what you did? Sure. Um, so uh, I created a, dis a display, or my student aide and I created a display, and I also put all of these books on um, a book river. So our catalog that we use throughout the county and that FCPL, Frederick County Public Libraries is actually um, adding to their uh, repertoire. Um, we can create these book rivers where you add a bunch of book covers and then it just kind of slowly cycles through on the main page of our catalog. So um, a number of us this past month, this month in November, we um, created book rivers on um, in uh, books about or by indigenous people. And so I did that and then my student aide and I then created a display with the books that I put on the book river. And then what I wanted to do um, after that um, is create a, just a promotional video to pull up, put on my Schoology, in my Schoology course for my students to see who maybe don't get a chance to walk through the library through the day. And um, the video I created was, um, I, I really like how the Curious Iguana Instagram page, they'll, uh, the Curious Iguana is a bookstore downtown and they will, um, do promotional videos to kind of encourage people to come in and buy new books or books if you like this, you'll like this. And they're real fun. So I wanted to see if I could do it. Um, so my student and I, and I made this video where we highlighted some of the um, more currently published books about or by Native American authors. And then, um, and that is why I'm here now. So you found out that you do have that creative part of you that can make a video that's going to inspire <laughs> students to check out and see books. Mm -hmm. I love the collaborations that you just um, sort of highlighted in that response. I know that our media specialists work closely with the Frederick County Public Library mm -hmm. because, again, we want children to find books wherever yeah. works for them. And the Curious Iguana has long been a valued partner of FCPS in supporting our teachers, but also, again, just nurturing that love of reading. Mm -hmm. And so um, you were talking about one of the books because there's an up and coming author that you kind of wanted to highlight for our students to think about as they're looking for new selections and opportunities. Yes, so this book, Alatsoe, is by Darcy Little Badger and her second book was published this fall. And I, I thought I had typed it up and I didn't, but uh, her second book for young adults. Um, but we read this book last year with our book club. It was a middle school, high school book club collaboration. And it had, it had been published, but not many people had bought it yet. So just speaking about collaborations, we used the other media special and I, specialist and I used Hoopla to get the books available to the students. Hoopla is um, a program, or it's a, it's a library of ebooks and audiobooks and um, music and movies and all that stuff through Frederick County Public Libraries and students can use their student success card number to check out any book through FCPL and all they need is their student ID number preceded by the prefix 119829 and then they can check out any book out of Frederick County Public Library. So we, we were able to all read Alatsoe together. It's a, um, about a young woman, it's a mystery, um, kind of takes place in a fantasy world, and um, she's Lipan Apache. Um, and it was really a delightful read, something that kind of I stepped outside of my comfort zone. So yeah, and then I brought a couple others that have been recently published as well. And that is a, a great thing to remind readers that sometimes you, you need to step outside of your comfort zone, the kinds of books you typically are drawn to, and then you may be surprised at how much you enjoy and like something else. Um, and again, I think I also want to encourage adults because sometimes we say, oh, it, it's young adult literature, but those are incredibly powerful stories that adults um, will love and enjoy equally. Oh yes, oh yes. I mean, anything anymore that I recommend to friends or you know, my sister even texted me the other day and asked for another YA mystery recommendation because the 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 quality and the breadth and the just the connections you can make with current YA authors and books is just incredible. 
And Kay, as you have been talking, your passion and your love of literature and sharing quality literature just comes through. And again, I think that's one of the things. We know that our media specialists are there and they're helping with research and they're doing a lot of things, but also just instilling that love of reading for pleasure. And in that reading, you get to be introduced to new cultures, new ideas, and you can just escape um, and, and absorb yourself into a totally different experience and adventure. So thank you so much for what you do in your job each and every day. Um, but thank you also for being creative and trying to share that love and get it out there. And I know you said you shared that video with Mary Jo Richmond, our coordinator of media services, but I have no doubt that it has also been shared with your colleagues across the county so that they can use it and try to inspire their students as well. So thank you so much for being here today. And before we go, is there any other book you want to plug for folks to check out before we say goodbye? Um, well, uh, the other two I brought, Firekeeper's Daughter is on my TV, TBR list. It's a mystery, but um, it takes place, you know, here and now. It's realistic fiction. And what I love is that, you know, we have plenty of books in the libraries that focus on Native American history and, you know, the history of indigenous peoples in Canada and Amer the Americas. But this is just about a young woman who is headed off to college. And she is also, she is, oh, I wrote it down. She is Ojibwe, um, and she, uh, she has to kind of help the FBA solve a mystery. And, um, you know, she, it, she's just like the rest of us. And then Everything You Wanted to Know About Indians is a nonfiction book I brought. And it's so cool because the chapters are split up into topics like history, tradition, terminology. But then every single chapter has just questions that you might want to ask a Native American, and then it answers the questions. So it's an easy book to read because you can kind of just pick and choose the questions that you want maybe to read the answers to. So I thought that was a good one to bring also. All right, well, thank you so much. And I think you have now given folks a couple of things to add to their TBR, mm -hmm. to be read list. To be read. Thank you again, Kay, for all you do and for joining me today. I hope that you have been inspired to check out something new, something different for some pleasure reading in the days and weeks ahead. Thank you for joining us on Tweet of the Week. We look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.